we mean when we talk about a Chrome user? For example, when you read something like, third-party cookies are restricted for 1% of Chrome users. And how is that different from a Chrome client, a Chrome profile, and a Google account? Well, I'm Sam Dutton, a developer relations engineer with the Chrome team, and in this video, I'll explain the difference. In Chrome engineering language, Chrome user refers to an individual human user of Chrome. Chrome client corresponds to an individual installation of Chrome on a device. And more precisely, Chrome client refers to an individual user data directory on a device. When you install Chrome, a user data directory is created, and data and settings for each Chrome profile are stored in separate directories within the user data directory. Now, it's common for users on a shared computer to have one Chrome profile each, and it's also common for the same user to have separate personal and work profiles. You can actually find your profile directory from the Chrome version page. And here you can see that on my MacBook, I have multiple profiles in the Chrome directory. On Windows desktop, it's slightly different. Users normally have one Chrome client installation per OS user account, and there may also be a system level install as well. On Linux, Chrome setup is similar to Windows. Installation can be local to a user or system-wide with the user data directory in the users directory with any number of profiles inside the user data directory. Android devices, on the other hand, most commonly only have a single client installed. Though in some cases, there may be different data directories, such as when a user has a work profile. A Chrome OS installation can have multiple users, and each user has their own profile directory in the user data directory. But a Chrome OS installation only constitutes a single Chrome client. Now, of course, you can only access the profile you're logged in with, and you can't view the file system in Chromebook to access your profile directory or anyone else's. From Google Chrome Help, you can find out more about how to add, remove, and change profile settings. If you're a Chrome Enterprise user, you might want to learn more about roaming user profiles. You can also choose to turn Sync on in Chrome, and that associates a profile on your device with a Google account, so your bookmarks, history, passwords, and other settings sync automatically across any device where you have the same profile open. From Chrome settings, you can manage what you sync and select the Google account associated with a Chrome profile. Now, here you can see that I have a profile that's associated with my Chromium email address. From the Chrome version page, you can see the folder for the current profile. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that you can use Google Apps with different identities from the same profile. And here you can see that I'm using the profile that's associated with my Chromium account, but I can also access Google Maps for my Gmail account or my Google Work account. So just to recap, you have a user data directory on your device that corresponds to a Chrome client. Profile information is stored in directories in the user data directory. And a profile can be associated with a Google account to enable sync. And you can sign into Google Apps, such as Gmail and Maps, for different Google accounts from the same profile. But there's one more thing to consider. What about Chrome channels? You know, Canary, Dev, Beta, and Stable. Well, users can install multiple Chrome channels on the same device, and each channel counts as a distinct client. For example, a user might have both Chrome Stable and Chrome Canary installed, and these are two distinct clients. As you can see, each channel has its own directory, and each one of those has its own profile subdirectories. And you can find out more from our guide to Chrome release channels. By the way, you might have heard about Chrome variations, also known as Chrome experiments or Finch. And this is a mechanism to allow Chrome to activate a new feature, to deactivate a feature, or to try out a change to a feature for a subset of users. 
a browser or a user in communication about Chrome experiments usually refers to a Chrome client. Remember, a Chrome client corresponds to an installation on a device, a user data directory. In other words, when people say things like 1% of users, well, they generally mean 1% of all Chrome clients. For example, again, Chrome began testing third-party cookie restrictions for 1% of Chrome users. Well, you know, that implies 1% of Chrome stable clients, since pre-stable channel clients actually are only a tiny proportion of the total. 20% of Chrome Canary Dev or Beta does mean 20% of clients on each of those channels. Likewise, monthly active users and daily active users. Well, user here actually refers to a client, not an individual human user. And you can learn you know, lots more about Chrome variations from our article, What Are Chrome Variations? A quick tip before we go. You can set your user data directory from the command line using the user data dir flag. And that means you can have a separate user data directory for development with its own profile subdirectories. And that can be really handy for testing. You can set up a development environment that doesn't interfere with your normal browsing. And here you can see I'm opening Canary with the user data directory set to test Canary in my home directory on macOS. And when I open Canary, it creates a profile directory named default. It's just like a clean install. And a little bonus tip here. If you set Chrome flags a lot, you might want to set up a function to use them from the command line. For example, in my ZSH RC file on Mac, I've defined CF, DF, BF, and SF to open the different Chrome channels with flags or other arguments set. And you can also set up an alias to run Chrome from a new temporary user data directory and to avoid the first run UI. So there you go. Uh, that's what we mean when we talk about Chrome clients, Chrome users, and Chrome profiles. To find out more, take a look at our article at goo.gle slash cu. So thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the other videos in the Chrome Concepts series. Mm -hmm.